friends now here we discuss about the remaining question of exercise 6.5 question number 22 a wire of length 28 meter is to be cut into two pieces one of the piece is to be made into square and other into circle what should be the length of a two piece so that the combined area of the square and circle is minimum in this question first suppose the length of uh, sides of square is x and radius of circle is a uh, y so total length of border of this square is equal to becomes 4x and the circumference of circle is equal to 2 pi y total length is equal to becomes 28 so let length of side of x square is equal to x and the uh, radius of circle radius of circle is equal to y therefore length of border of x square is equal to become 4x and the circumference of circle is equal to 2 pi y and the uh, total length is equal to becomes 28 clear therefore formulate y for x take this side so 2 pi y is equal to 28 minus 4x therefore y is equal to becomes 28 minus 4x upon 2 pi so is equal to now dividing by 2 we get uh, 14 minus 2x upon pi clear so y is equal to 14 minus 2x upon a pi take result number 1 now here total area of a square and a circle say a let total area is equal to a therefore a is equal to becomes area of x square is x square and area of circle with radius y is equal to pi y square so is equal to x square plus pi into here y is equal to 14 minus 2x upon pi raised to 2 So is equal to x square plus here are two with x square take outside so pi into two x is a four here seven minus x raised to two upon pi x square so is equal to x square plus here one pi cancel so we get a four into seven minus x raised to two upon pi. now first derivative of a with respect to x da dx is equal to 2x plus 4 upon pi derivative of 7 minus x raised to 2 is equal to 2 into 7 minus x raised to 2 minus 1 that is 1 into derivative of 7 minus x is equal to minus 1 
so is equal to here 2x plus here 8 here becomes a minus 8 upon pi 7 minus a x now second derivative dx square a dx square is equal to we get a 2 minus 8 upon pi into derivative of these terms is equal to minus 1 so is equal to 2 minus minus become plus 8 upon a pi clear now for maxima minima for a minima take a dA dx first derivative equal to 0 this implies here first derivative is equal to 2x minus 8 upon pi into 7 minus x is equal to 0 this implies now simplify this uh, here to x minus 8 into 7 56 upon pi minus minus plus 8x upon pi is equal to 0 this implies now simplification from uh, these two terms take a common 2x here we get 1 plus 2x take common so 4 upon pi here minus of 56 upon pi take this side so plus 56 upon pi so this implies here uh, dividing by 2 to both sides we get x into 1 plus 4 upon pi is equal to 28 upon a pi now pi take else here so here we, we get x into 4 plus pi upon pi is equal to 28 upon a pi pi from both side cancel so x is equal to we get 28 upon 4 plus a pi at x is equal to 28 upon 4 plus pi here second derivative becomes 2 plus 8 upon pi dx square a dx square is equal to 2 plus 8 upon pi greater than 0 therefore at uh, x is equal to 28 upon a 4 plus pi a is minimum that is area becomes a minimum clear now for this uh, value of x get a length of both piece therefore first piece is equal to length of first piece is equal to 4x is equal to 4 into x is equal to 28 upon pi plus a 4 or 4 point pi is equal to total length becomes a 1 1 2 upon pi plus a 4 meter and the uh, length of second piece piece is equal to this is a circumference of circle and circumference of circle is a 2 pi y we know that so is equal to 2 pi into value of y is equal to to 
टू पाई इंटू वाई इज इक्वल टू बी नो देता फोर्टीन माइनस टू एक्स अपॉन पाई नाउ रिप्लेस एक्स बाय ट्वेंटी एट अपॉन फोर प्लस पाई सो वी गेट लेंथ ऑफ अ सेकंड टू पाई फोर्टीन माइनस टू इंटू एक्स इज इक्वल टू वी हैव ट्वेंटी एट अपॉन फाइव प्लस फोर अपॉन अ फाइव सो इज इक्वल टू हियर फाइव फाइव कैंसल सो टू इंटू हियर फाइव प्लस फोर टेक एल्शियम सो वी गेट अ फोर्टीन फाइव प्लस फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स अपॉन फाइव प्लस फोर सो इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू फिफ्टी सिक्स कैंसल सो फोर्टीन फाइव अपॉन फाइव प्लस फोर सो इज इक्वल टू बिकम ट्वेंटी एट फाइव अपॉन फाइव प्लस फोर सो दिस बिकम्स लेंथ ऑफ अ सेकेंड पीस क्लियर सो लेंथ ऑफ फर्स्ट पीस इज अ वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व अपॉन पाई प्लस फोर एंड द लेंथ ऑफ सेकेंड पीस इज अ ट्वेंटी एट पाई अपॉन पाई प्लस फोर फोर मीटर ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रूव दैट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट कॉन दैट कैन बी इंस्क्राइब इन एस पियर ऑफ रेडियस आर स्पीयर ऑफ रेडियस आर इज एट अपॉन ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑफ वॉल्यूम ऑफ द स्पीयर दैट इज अ Prove that volume of a largest cone that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius r is eight upon twenty seven of volume of a sphere. Here we have this type of cone in a sphere. That radius of a sphere a cone is equal to take x and height of a cone is equal to y here take a b and a c and the altitude is a cd Here, radius of a sphere is R, so say center of sphere is O. So O A is equal to O B is equal to O C is equal to R. B D is equal to X, and the C D is equal to height of a cone is Y. Let radius Of cone is equal to x. Height is equal to y. And the uh, radius of a sphere is given r. The radius. Of a sphere is equal to R given capital R. Here, O A is equal to O B is equal to O C is equal to R. Okay. Now, C D is equal to O 
OC plus OD. OC plus OD. Therefore, here already CD is equal to height of coin is equal to Y. OC is equal to R. We know that. OC is equal to R plus OD. Therefore, OD is equal to Y minus R. Now, in a triangle ODB, ODB, OB square is equal to OD square plus BD square. So, OB square is equal to, we know that R. So, R square is equal to, OD is equal to Y minus R. So, Y minus R raised to 2 plus BD. BD is equal to X raised to 2. Therefore, X square is equal to Y minus R square take this side. So, R square minus, here Y minus R square print this. So, Y square minus 2yr plus r square. So, is equal to r square minus y square plus 2yr minus r square. So, is equal to r square plus minus cancel. So, we get minus y square plus 2yr. Y take common from this, we get 2r minus y. So this is the x square. Take result number 1. Now, volume of a cone is equal to say V. So let volume of cone is equal to V. Therefore, V is equal to V. Know that volume of cone is equal to one third pi x square y so is equal to one third pi value of x square is equal to y into 2r minus y into y therefore v is equal to one third pi y into y, y square take inside, so we get 2r y square minus y raised to 3. Take a result number 2. Now get the first derivative of v with respect to y. Therefore, dv dy is equal to 1 third pi. Derivative of this is equal to 2y. So, 2 into 2, 4 r y square y minus derivative of y raised to 3 is equal to 3 y square. Okay. Here, we get derivative of v with respect to y. So, derivative of y square with respect to y is equal to 2y. So, here becomes 2 into 2, 4 r y minus derivative of y raised to 3 is equal to 3 y square. Okay. Now, second derivative, d square v dy square is equal to 1 third pi, here derivative of 4 r y is equal to 4 r minus derivative of this is equal to 6 y, okay. For maximum or minimum dv dy is equal to take 0. Therefore, first derivative take 0. So, 1 third pi here 4 r y minus 3 y square is equal to 0. Therefore, 1 third pi take this side so become 0. Here uh, y take common. So, y into 4 r minus uh, 3y is equal to 0. Therefore, y equal to 0 not possible. 
so 4r minus 3y is equal to 0 therefore y is equal to here 3y take this side divide by 3 so we get a 4 upon 3r so for y is equal to 4 upon 3r put in a second derivative here second derivative therefore for y is equal to 4 upon 3r dx square v dy square is equal to here one third pi 4r minus 6 into y y is equal to 4 upon 3r so is equal to one third pi here 4r minus here becomes uh, 4 to 8 r so is equal to here 8 r minus plus 4 r becomes minus 4 r so we get the minus 4 upon 3 pi into r less than 0 therefore for y is equal to 4 upon 3 r v is maximum clear because the secondary t less than 0 for y is equal to 4 upon 3 r now for y is equal to 4 upon 3 r find volume of this point therefore v is equal to 1 third pi here 2 r y is equal to 4 upon 3 r replace in this equation y square is equal to 4 upon 3 r square so 16 upon 9 r square minus y raised to 3 so cube of this is equal to 64 upon 27 r raised to 3 now simplify this so 1 third pi here uh, r square into r becomes uh, r raised to 3 16 into 2 32 upon 9 r raised to 3 minus 64 upon 27 r raised to 3 now take LCM so 1 third pi here uh, 27 and the 9 given so 27 take LCM so here we multiply by 3 so 3 to 6 339 rh to 3 minus 64 rh to 3 upon 27 so is equal to volume is equal to 1 third pi here 96 minus 64 becomes uh, 32 r cube upon 27 so is equal to now simplify this here we want to get 8 upon uh, 27 into 4 by 3 pi r cube so divide 32 into 8 into 4 and uh, 27 3 already given so 1 third pi 8 into 4 r cube upon 27 8 upon 27 take outside so 8 upon 27 into bracket of 4 by 3 pi r cube and uh, we know that 4 by 3 pi r cube is a volume of a sphere is equal to 8 upon 27 into volume of sphere clear and slow now next question 
now question number 25 show that the semi vertical angle of con say theta of a maximum volume and of a given a slant height slant height theta l is tan inverse root 2 here show that the semi vertical angle of maximum volume and given a slant height is theta is equal to tan inverse root 2 important question first of all this let semi vertical angle is equal to theta here take uh, height is equal to cd radius is equal to db so cos theta is equal to we know that cd upon a l here slant height is equal to take a l slant height is equal to l here cos theta is equal to cd upon l so cd is equal to l cos theta so cd is equal to l cos theta and uh, sin theta is equal to bd upon l so bd is equal to l sin theta now volume of a cone let volume of cone is equal to v therefore v is equal to becomes 1 third pi arc square h that is a db square h is equal to cd so is equal to 1 third pi db is equal to we have l sin theta so l square sin square theta into cd is equal to l cos theta so volume is equal to becomes 1 third pi l square in pl becomes l raised to 3 sin square theta into cos theta clear now first get the first derivative with respect to theta so dv d theta is equal to 1 third pi l raised to 3 derivative of sin square theta into cos theta is equal to remember this first get derivative of a sin square theta 2 sin theta into derivative of a sin is a cos into cos become cos square theta plus derivative of cos theta is equal to minus sin theta so we get a minus sin theta into sin square theta becomes sin cube theta clear now get a second derivative d square v d theta square is equal to 1 third pi l raised to 3 into here 2 into derivative of sin theta is equal to cos theta into cos square theta given so cos cube theta clear plus derivative of a cos square theta is equal to here 2 sin theta into derivative of cos square theta is equal to 2 cos theta into derivative of cos theta is equal to minus cos theta that is we apply minus here derivative of cos square is a minus sin theta so 
into cos theta into minus apply this here sin into sin becomes sin side theta okay minus derivative of sin cube theta is equal to 3 sin side theta into derivative of sin theta is equal to cos theta so is equal to now simplify this one third pi l raised to three here we get the two cos cube theta here of minus two sin side theta into two cos theta become minus four sin side theta into cos theta minus here becomes a three sin side theta into cos theta so is equal to becomes one third pi l raised to three into two cos cube theta here four sin side theta cos theta minus three sin side theta cos theta become minus seven sin side theta cos theta okay now to maximum minimum take a dv d theta is equal to zero for maxima or minima dv d theta is equal to zero this implies first derivative is equal to zero that is a one third pi l raised to three two sine theta cos theta minus sin cube theta is equal to zero clear so one third pi l raised to three take this side so become zero here two sin theta here sin cube theta so sin theta take common therefore sin theta into bracket here becomes uh, 2 cos theta minus from sin cube theta 1 sin take common so sin square theta is equal to become 0 so here sin theta equal to 0 not possible therefore 2 cos theta minus sin square theta is equal to 0 so this implies this implies here sin square take this side divide by cos square so we get 2 is equal to sin square upon cos square that is a tan square theta this implies tan theta is equal to root 2 this implies theta is equal to tan inverse root 2 here tan square theta is equal to 2 tan square theta is equal to 2 and uh, we want to get the value of sine and uh, cos for second derivative so from tan square theta is equal to 2 get the value of uh, cos and uh, sine here tan square theta is equal to 2 therefore sec theta is equal to root of 1 plus tan square theta so sec theta is equal to root 3 clear therefore cos theta is equal to 1 upon root 3 from a tan theta is equal to root 2 and the cos theta is equal to 1 upon root 3 get the value of sin theta so sin theta is equal to we know that tan theta into cos theta here value of our tan theta is equal to root 2 and the value of cos theta is equal to 1 upon root 3 that is a root 2 upon root 3 now replace both value in the second derivative dx square v d theta therefore 
secondary t dx square b d theta square is equal to from this one third pi l raised to three into two here cos cube theta is equal to cube of this one upon three root of three minus seven into sin theta is equal to square of this two upon root two upon three into cos theta is equal to one upon root three now simplify this so one third pi l raised to three here we get two upon three root three minus seven to fourteen fourteen upon three root three so fourteen minus two becomes minus twelve upon three root three so this become negative clear because one third pi l raised to three here becomes minus twelve upon three root of three. This is a negative. Okay. Negative. Therefore, for tan theta is equal to two, that means theta is equal to theta is equal to tan inverse root two. V, that is a volume, is a maximum. Okay. Important question. Remember this. How to prove this uh, type of question? Now, question number six. Same question. Solve yourself. Now, question number twenty-seven. NCQ question given. The point on curve x square is equal to two y, which is nearest to point zero five. Different option given. First, suppose the required points. Let a x y is required points. Required point on x square is equal to two y. And uh, B is a zero five given. Here, use the distance formula. A B square is equal to we know that. Here x minus zero square plus y minus a five square. Here x square plus y minus five square. We know that x square is equal to two y. So two y plus split this y square minus ten y plus twenty five. So is equal to y square minus ten y plus two y becomes a minus eight y plus twenty five. A big square is equal to say distance s. Now differentiate with respect to y. Therefore d s d y is equal to Two y minus eight. Now second time differentiate d square s d y square is equal to two. Clear? Now for maximum minimum for maxima or minima take a sec first derivative d s d y is equal to zero. Therefore, first derivative to y minus eight is equal to zero. Therefore, y is equal to four. For y is equal to four, in the second derivative at uh, y is equal to four, second derivative d s d x square s d y square is equal to two less than or greater than zero. Therefore, s is minimum at y is equal to four. For y is equal to four, x square is equal to here we have x square is equal to two into y. So x square is equal to two into y is equal to four. So x is equal to 
root 2 into root 4 square root of 4 is a 2 root 2 therefore a 2 root 2 y is a 4 so this becomes required point clear 2 root 2 4 similarly we are able to solve question number 28 first get first derivative then get a second derivative compare first derivative with a 0 and uh, put in a second derivative and uh, get a answer same question number 29 in a machine readers exercise same question given so complete uh, this uh, last miscellaneous exercise yourself now in the next lecture we start a new chapter okay bye